Okay, we're still in chapter one. We're getting ready. We're getting prepared to get our whims on. And chapter one with the journals. And what I forgot to show you in the paint demo were the brushes. So I asked you to get a number eight, a number 12, and a number 10 watercolor brush around. These are watercolor rounds. And these are brand of brushes. This is called a Skoda, a versatile. And I just love these brushes. You can get very professional results using these. And these are these are a little bit more expensive, of course, than these five or six dollar brushes. But if you're gonna if you're going to go with some really good watercolor brushes, try some Princeton or a Skoda. So this is my 8, 10, and 12. And this is the Simply Simmons. The Simply Simmons 8, 10, and 12. These are just as wonderful if you're just learning and you're just, just practicing. And I'll be, I'll be using these particular six, these six brushes in this class so you can get an idea of, of what works. I like to teach you with these, but my own personal artwork, I like to use the Escotas. So there's your brushes. So let's just quick talk about the journals. So this all started with my Moleskine. And did you know Moleskin Journal is pronounced Moleskine? And so I just thought I would take you through some of my journals and you are going to experience and I'm going to share with you lessons from this particular book. Now you see that I blocked off some of the themes and we are going to, we're going to actually work from pages in this book in your own journal. I'm going to teach you how to make all these flowers, these little journaling boxes with illustrations. I'm going to show you this. This is a lesson. So I'm not going to show you all the lessons, but I'm going to be working from my personal art journals and you see how that's the nice landscape so I asked you to get one of these journals and I gave you three choices but please get one of these don't work with something that is subpar I want you to have a good journal for this class so you can get the moleskine journal which is good and I probably will say moleskin along the way and I also recommended a Stillman and Burn, if you can see this, the Stillman and Burn Alpha series, which is a red cover, or the Stillman and Burn Beta series, which is a blue cover. Now, what is the difference between these two journals? The Alpha series, the paper is a little bit thinner. It's good for watercolor and for washes and for drawing. So these three books are the best books that I personally have found for using watercolor paint and ink and drawing. So there might be some beautiful watercolor books with some really rich paper, but maybe the ink's not going to take onto the paper very well. So we wanted to make sure we're gonna use a book that has paper that is responding to to pen and ink and watercolor. So that's why I asked you to have one of these. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna use all three, I'm gonna demo all three. So the only thing is that, now look at these pages. I love this particular chunky, wrinkly paper, but I want you to see that when you work with the, uh, with the Alpha series, you're gonna get the little bumpy paper and that really might bother you. If that does, you might wanna stick with the Moleskine journal, but either way, it doesn't matter. We're learning and we are exploring. So the reason you take these classes is to learn about different products, learn about different methods, learn about different things. So I'm gonna be using all three of these in the class. I have the beta series, and what I always do is I always take the label that's on the journal and I paste it in the back of the book so I know exactly what journal I'm using. Now this one is kind of the in-between this and this. Okay, this paper is a little lighter. You're gonna get a little wrinkly, but I just love this little chunky journal. And then the Moleskine is the paper that's pretty heavy and it's more, in, and it's just very, it's a, it's, a, it's a different kind of watercolor paper. And it's a little bit rougher here, but this, the Stillman and Burn, is also a cold press. Remember, cold press paper is, think about having goosebumps. So there's like little bumps on the paper. And the Alpha Series is also, it's a medium grain surface. So it's not perfectly smooth. It just has a little tiny bit of a cold press to it. So again, these are the three different journals that we're going to be learning in. If you're taking this art adventure with me, you know that 
I love my journals. I love to try different things. And I think that's how you get to be a really great artist is if you're willing to try different things and accept different things. So there's the three different books that I suggested for the class. So whatever one you have, get excited about every single one of them. None of them are bad. They're just different. Unless, like I said, <laughs> that this is going to bother you that this one is the chunky paper. But again, I, I just love I just love this book for I think those bumps add character and they really show that I've been producing. So there are the journals. Simple. And so now I think it's time to get on to move on to starting. That's a lot to learn in one sitting. So now we're going to go on to our first page. We're going to go on to whims number one. So I'll be right back with that. We're still in chapter one. Be right back. 